Hello fellow DA friends and focus owners. Today we're working on the 1.6 ZTEC SE, the gasoline or benzene one, and we're changing the spark plugs. So you should usually change the spark plugs every 30,000 kilometers, 20,000 miles if I'm not mistaken, according to the Haynes manual. And theoretically you have platinum spark plugs in your car. I have some Bosch spark plugs last I've checked. Anyhow, it's uh, running kind of rough when accelerating, like it's misfiring, but it's not igniting the fuel for every every cycle. It's kind of weird, as Hungarians would say, Sögletesho benzene. So I bought these NGK B line. Theoretically, these are also platinum spark plugs, so uh, they should be good enough. Uh, as for tools, actually I will have a list down in the description and uh, you can also find my Instagram there. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, maybe, you know, please. Anyhow, let's get down to business. So you can just remove the leads one by one, just by pulling them by hand, you know, and uh, make sure you don't mix them up. But uh, it's pretty obvious which goes where. So, uh, I know, I never mark them even when I remove them from the coil because it's obvious, but uh, if you're afraid you can mark them and you just pull them out. Uh, by the way, if you're uh, really afraid, you can work on one spark plug at a time. So now I want you to take a look inside the holes where the spark plug sits and make sure there's no debris or I don't know anything that can fall inside the engine. If there is, use a vacuum cleaner, compressed air, and just clean it, you know. So let's take our socket and remove spark plug number one. I'm using a special spark plug wrench, that's why they sit inside. Uh, make sure to not wiggle the wrench around so you don't break the ceramic part. Now you should inspect the spark plug if... Uh, I will actually have a list on the screen what is what, but uh, usually if they are oily, um, that's a bad sign. According to the Haynes manual, if the insulator knows, which is that gray thing, uh, in the middle it's covered in a grayish brown powder then theoretically the engine is good and it's not too rich not too lean nor not or not worn uh, I think the engine is fine I'm not sure about this deposit so here we have the spark plugs this is cylinder one Cylinder 2, 3 and 4. Looks like 3 and 4 has some kind of oil deposits. And I think on cylinder 2, this um, ceramic insulator is somewhat damaged. Also, what's written in the Haynes manual that you are supposed to check the new spark plug if the ceramic is not broken. And when you're done with that, just take your key, stick the spark plug in and down the hole it goes. Make sure you don't um, cross thread it. Now that you have all the spark plugs in, you are supposed to uh, torque them down to 15 newton meters and if I remember correctly 11 pound feet of torque. So now that we have the spark plugs in, we are supposed to look at the leads. Uh, you can actually test the leads with the engine uh, running in a dark place and look if it's like sparking anywhere. Then you know the leads are bad. And if one lead is bad, then you change all of them. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to clean them with some contact cleaner. And I don't see any white residue on the inside, so I'm guessing this is good. I've cleaned the leads at one point. I don't know how well you can see. 
but there's no white powder indicating um, corrosion. To me, it looks pretty good. And you just clean all of them. I did see some residue in cylinder number three. Usually, number cylinders from the timing bell, so you have like one, two, three, and four. And okay, I'm just going to put these leads back in for now. And if they need to be changed, they are going to be changed. Now you just stick each lead back in its place and just arrange the wires so everything just fits in nicely. Make sure you have the leads pressed down all the way and basically that's it.